Assalamualaikum and hi students. This is a lecture video for BEKG 2443 Engineering Mathematics 2. Okay, so for the last video of chapter 2, Multiple Integrals, we will cover the final three LOs which are to evaluate triple integrals in spherical coordinates, to apply the triple integrals to find the volumes of solid and to apply both double and triple integrals to find mass and moments. 2.8 triple integrals in spherical coordinates. It is an extension of polar coordinates into three dimensions. And then the angle made by the radius and the vertical axis is denoted by this phi. Okay, so we have an extra phi here. Okay, before this we just have theta here. Okay, a point P, rho, phi and theta in spherical coordinates can be represented as shown below. Okay, so this is the representative of the uh, spherical coordinates. We have P, function of P in rho, phi and theta. And then we have phi here. This is rho. And this is our theta. In definition 2.6 here, uh, it defines what is spherical coordinates and what is the rho, phi and theta. So basically, we have a function of P in rho, phi and theta. And rho is the distance from P to the origin. While for phi is the angle between the positive as z axis and the line from or the origin to the point P. And last, as you know, theta is the angle from cylindrical coordinates. And then for rectangular coordinates, x, y, z are transformed. Okay, it can be transformed into cylindrical coordinates. We have rho, phi and theta by this substitution. So x here is equal to rho sine phi cos theta. Y is equal to rho sine phi sine theta. Z now is equal to rho cos theta. Phi, r is equal to rho sine phi and r uh, rho square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square and the restriction for this spherical coordinates is this one rho must be greater or equal to zero and for phi limit phi is in between zero to pi only it cannot be uh, more than pi we have theorem 2.7 here Suppose that function rho phi theta is continuous on a spherical box shapes region G of the form. Okay, so this is the G. It's domain for G. We have rho phi and theta. Okay, then we can write the triple integral of spherical uh, in spherical coordinates as this one. Okay, we substitute the limit for each uh, rho phi and theta and then we have f rho phi theta function of rho phi theta and then we have this one rho square sine phi okay we note that the volume as the volume element in spherical coordinates is given by dv dv is equal to rho square sine phi the d rho d phi d theta okay so you must substitute dv with this Everything here. Rho square sine psi. D rho d psi d. D phi d theta. We have two examples for solving uh, triple integrals in spherical coordinates. Okay, the first one is find the volume of the solid bounded above by sphere rho equal to 3 and below by cone uh, phi equal to pi over 3. So the volume of the solid is equal to, remember, for the volume, we must do triple integral of G, okay, with F, X, Y, Z equal to 1, D, V, okay. And then for spherical coordinates, we have three integrals here, and then 1, D, V. Remember, the substitution for D, V is rho square sine phi d rho d phi d theta okay and then for the limit limit for rho rho is from 0 to 3 
So substitute 0 to 3. And then phi, phi is from 0 to pi over 3. And last we have d theta. d theta for sphere is 0 to 2 pi. Theta limit. Okay, then you just need to solve this as usual. As you continue the in triple integration, okay, you have the volume is equal to 9 pi. Okay, 9 pi unit cube. Okay, so you start with integrate rho first. Okay, so integrate rho square is equal to 1 over 3 rho cube. Then substitute the value and then proceed with integration of sine phi. And then we have, last, we have to integrate respect to theta. For second example, we need to find the volume of the solid that lies in the first octane. Remember, first octane and is bounded by the sphere rho equal to 2, the coordinates plane, the cone rho uh, phi equal to pi over 6 and phi equal to pi over 3. Okay, so volume. We have triple integrals. 1 dv. Our dv is equal to phi rho square sine phi d rho d phi d theta. Okay. Limit for rho. Rho is equal to 2. So we start with 0. Lower limit for rho is 0. Upper limit is 2. Okay. And then phi limit. Phi limit is from pi over 6 until pi over 3 and last theta limit okay find the volume of the solid that lies in the first octane first octane mean theta is from 0 to pi over 2 okay so you have 0 to pi over 2 pi over 6 to pi over 3 integrate Rho square, we have 1 over 3. Rho cube from 0 to 2. D phi d theta. And then continue from here. Okay, when you solve for the triple integrals, and then you, you get the last answer for volume is volume equal to 2 over 3 pi multiplied by square root 3 minus 1. Okay, so this is the volume for the solid that lies in the first outturn. Okay, for this case. For this example and this table concludes the conversion formulas okay if you have right if you need to uh, convert from rectangular to cylindrical so this is the substitution for x y and z and dv dv equal to dx dy dz which is equal to r dr d theta if you have dz it is r dr d theta dz okay and then from rectangular to spherical Okay, so x is equal to this one, y, and z. And then dv is equal to rho square sine phi d rho d phi d theta. And last, if you have to, sub, uh, if you have to uh, convert to change the cylindrical to spherical, you have this. r equal to rho sine phi, z equal to rho cos phi. And theta remain as theta. The last subtopic in this chapter 2, you have 2.9, applications of multiple integrals. Okay, we start with application of double integrals first. Okay, so we have mass and moments in two dimensions. Two dimensions, we have lamina. Okay, a material's density function denoted by sigma xy is the mass per unit area. Okay, so you have density is equal to mass over area. Hence, the mass for thin flat plate lamina, we call it as lamina, in two dimensional, in two dimensions, in the xy plane is obtained by integrating the density function over the region R. So basically, to find the mass, mass is equal to double integration of density, dx, sorry, dx dy or dy dx. Next, we have first moment formula for lamina in xy plane. We have four uh, formulas here. The first one is the moment for lamina about x exists. So this is denoted as mx, capital Mx, equal to double integration y multiplied by sigma dA. 
Okay, dA is either x dx dy or dy dx. Or you can solve it in polar form. You have r dr d theta. Okay, so moment lamina about y axis, we have my equal to double integration. You have to multiply your density with x. Okay, and then the third one, center of mass or center of gravity. Okay, we write this center of mass as x bar y bar. So x bar is equal to my. My is moment about the y axis divided by m, our mass. Okay. And then for y bar, y bar is equal to moment at x axis divided by mass. Okay. And the third, the fourth one, centroid. Centroid is center of mass, but we call it centroid if the density of the lamina is constant. If the sigma equal to k, any number, any real number. So to find the centroid, x bar, y bar is equal to 1 over area square double uh, integration of x dA. And then this is y bar, y bar equal to 1 over area r double integration y dA. So basically x bar for centroid, x bar is equal to 1 over area double integration of r x dA. 1 over area basically is your mass. 1 area is mass. Why? Because for centroid, the mass is equal to mass is equal to double integration r f x y dA, right? But for area, we have double integration fxy is equal to 1 dA. So that's why instead of writing 1 over m, it was written as 1 over area. R x dA. Okay, you can solve this equal to R x dA over double integration R respect to 1 dA. And this is equal to your m y. This is m y over m. Okay, centroid. Okay, the difference between centroid and center of mass is your density. Okay, we also have second moment formula for lamina. Okay, so this is set for second moment. In second moment, we have moment of inertia. Okay, about the x axis. So i x is equal to double integration multiply your density with y square and if you consider y as this you multiply your density with x square and if you have to uh, determine the moment sorry the inertia about the origin so you just multiply your ix with iy we start with the first example let's say you have a thin plate covers the triangular region bounded by the x axis and the line x equal to 1 and y equal to x okay. x equal to 1 and y equal to x y equal to x and x equal to 1 is over here and then in the first quadrant okay so this is your region this is the triangular uh triangular, triangular region and then find the first moments center of mass about the coordinates axis and the moment of inertia about the x axis if the plate's density is so the density is equal to 2x plus 2y so for moment so find the first moments okay so to find the first moment x bar y bar this is the center of mass okay center of mass is equal to M moment of uh, moment about the y as is divided by m and moment at x as is divided by mass. So you need to find what is m. M is equal to double integration and then substitute your density here 2x plus 2y dA. So from here you decide what is your dA either dx dy or dy dx okay let's say i'm considering dx dy 
Okay, so limit for y, y is fixed number, so 0 to 1. And limit for x is, if you consider limit for x, it's come from here. You have x equal to y and x equal to 1. So the lower limit is y, the upper limit is 1. Okay, and then do uh, solve for the in double integration. For the mass, we get mass m equal to 1. And then proceed with finding what is mx moment about the x axis. So for moment, we have the same region. So we can just uh, use the same limit for dx dy. dx dy. And then multiply your density here, over here, 2x plus 2y with y. Since we want to consider moment at x as is, so multiply y with density, 2x plus 2y. And then carry on with the integration. Okay, when you solve for uh, mx, you find out that mx is equal to 5 over 12. And then continue with finding what is moment at uh, y as is. So for moment for y as is, we need to do the trip double integration. And then you need to multiply your density with x. And then substitute uh, and then integrate the respect to x and y as usual. The last answer for my for the moment about the y as is is equal to 3 over 4. Now you can find what is the center of mass here. So x bar for x bar y bar is equal to your moment y, moment at y, equal to 3 over 4, divide by 1. Okay, so divide by 1, you have 3 over 4. And then moment for x, 5 over 12, divide by 1, mass, is equal to 5 over 12. Okay, and then find what is the moment of inertia. For moment of inertia, we have second moment. Okay, for second moment, to find what is y, uh, sorry, i, y, sorry, i, x. What is i, x? i, x is equal to 0 to 1, y to 1. Multiply y square. 2x plus 2y. dx, dy. Okay, so this is equal to 0 to 1. You need to do the integration for 2xy square plus 2y cube dx dy and for inertia at y as is we multiply density with x square 2x plus 2y dx dy substitute the limit y to 1 0 to 1 okay so you can continue with finding what is uh, ix and iy and after this you have to uh, check with my answer okay check your answer for inertia x and y with me so for ix we have 7 over 3 over 30 and for iy it is equal to 3 over 5 for inertia you don't have to divide by mass okay inertia ix and iy is equal to double integration x square multiplied by uh, density and y square multiplied by density Okay, moving to the second example, given a lamina of density sigma equal to x squared go past a region R bounded by the parabola y equal to 2 minus x squared and the line y equal to x. So first you need to find the mass and for second question you need to find the center of mass of lamina. But we need to start with sketching the region. Okay. So you have y equal to 2x and y equal to x. Okay, for y equal to 2 minus x square, we have this. And for y equal to half, 2x, we have a linear. Okay, so this is y equal to x and this is y equal to 2 minus x square. So the region is here. So find the x limit, the intercept here we have to solve for simultaneous equation x square plus x minus 2 equal to 0. 
So first intercept we have negative 2 and the second one we have 1. Okay, so we have x limit. Then find m mass. We have double integration. Okay, y limit, sorry, x limit is from negative 2 to 1. And for y limit, we have, we enter the region by this line. From this line, this is y equal to x line. And then we left the region from y equal to 2 minus x square. Okay, for mass, fill in the density. We have x square dy dx and from here you may proceed with the double integration okay the mass i get here is equal to 63 over 20 now we may proceed with mx finding mx and my okay we consider the same region so we can use the same limit so from negative 2 to 1 x to 2 minus x square we multiply the density with y, dy, dx. Y, for my, moment about y exists, we need to do double integration for the same region, but the density must be multiplied by x, dy, dx. Okay? Okay, when I proceed with the uh, double integration, I get my final answer for mx is equal to minus 27 over 21 and my my is equal to minus 18 over 5. Now, I can find what is the center of mass for question B. Okay, for question B, I need to find what is my x bar and y bar. So, x bar or and y bar is equal to, for x bar, we have to substitute minus 18 over 5. And then divide by our mass finding in A. Okay, so our mass is 63 over 20 over 20. So if I do a multiplication, I need to multiply with 20 over 63. Okay, and for y bar, refer to mx which is minus 27 over 21 and then multiply by inverse of mass 20 over 63. And as I do the calculation, I find out that the final answer for center, sorry, center of mass is equal to minus 8 over 7 and minus 20 over 49. Okay, so this is an example for uh, this region. Okay, mass and center of mass. Okay, last uh, example before we proceed with uh, the application of triple integrals, we have here. Find the centroid of a semicircular lamina of radius A. So semicircular, semicircular. So you have this with radius A. Okay, you need to find the centroid. Okay, so for centroid, m is equal to double integral. And you know that for centroid, the density is equal to constant. Okay, so you just assume you do the uh, double integration. Uh, with density equal to 1 dA okay so for the application here you can use either polar form or uh, Cartesian so for this one I, I want to use the polar form so I do double integration 1 dA my dA is R dr d theta because I think it is easier for me to use the for polar coordinates okay so i know the radius is 0 to a and the theta limit is from 0 to i okay i get the mass equal to 1 over 2 a square pi and then to find the centroid mx for centroid is equal to double integration from 0 to pi 0 to a r dr d theta and I, I need to multiply with y. And y in polar coordinates is equal to r sine theta. Multiply by r dr d theta. So I need to do double integration for r square sine theta 
dr d theta to find the mx moment about x exists and for my moment about the y exists 0 to pi 0 to a multiply x okay r dr d theta so this is equal to 0 to pi 0 to a x is equivalent to r cos theta r dr d theta for my i need to integrate r square cos theta dr d theta so the mx is equal to 2 over 3 a q and my is equal to 0 moment about y as is is equal to 0 so the centroid x bar y bar is equal to 0 4 a divided by 3 pi okay the reason why this is equal to 0 my moment about y as is is equal to 0 because this uh this semicircular is symmetry about the y axis. Next, mass and moments in three dimensions. Okay, the application of triple integrals. If sigma x y z is the density of an object, okay, uh, occupying a region G in space, mass per unit volume, the integral over sigma over G gives the mass of object. Okay, so we find the mass from triple integral of uh, sigma dv. For first moment formula for solid object in space, okay, we have five formula here. We have moment about xy plane, mxy. So for mxy, you multiply z with density. And for moment about xz plane, multiply y y z plane multiply x m x y is equal to the integral of x sigma okay and then center of mass x bar is equal to m y z okay m y z sorry this is y z it's not x y y z so m y z divided by m mass and then y bar is equal to m x z divided by m and last z bar is equal to m x y divided by m and for centroid x bar y bar z bar so you just uh, the same things i mean you need to do you need to find m y z m x z m x y divided by the mass but for centroid your density is equal to constant or you can assume it is equal to one so that's why you have volume here okay and you have second moment formula moment of inertia okay if you want to find ix ix is equal to triple integral multiply your density with y square plus z square y as is inertia about y as is you multiply density with x square plus y, z square and z as is you have to multiply the density with x square plus y square okay you just to remember you just need to remember the formula example here find the centroid of solid of constant density okay so we find the centroid because the density is constant bounded below by the this x square plus y square less or equal than 4 okay so you know this is a circle less than 4 means you have the inside of circle the region inside the circle in the plane z equal to 0 and above by the parabola z equal to 4 minus x square minus y square okay so if if you see from 3 t this is y this is x you will have a cylinder with z cylinder from z equal to 0 here and z here z equal to 4 minus x square minus y square Okay. So to find to find the centroid, first we need to know what is the mass. Okay, mass for triple integral. Okay, so for centroid we integrate one dv. Okay, so for this I I want to do this uh, in cylindrical form. Okay, in the cylindrical form, so I have my theta. Okay, so triple integral one r dz dr d theta 
So my z limit, z limit is from 0. The lower limit is 0. And the upper limit is 4 minus x square minus y square is 4 minus r square. And r limit, my r limit is 0 to 4. My theta limit is 0 to 2 pi. The whole circle. And I will proceed with the triple integral. Sorry, I made a mistake. R radius limit R is from 0 to 2. Radius is 2. Okay, circle x square plus y square equal to R square. R is 2. So my M, my mass is equal to 8 pi. And then in order to find the centroid, I need to find what is M, Y, Z, M, X, Z and M, X, Y. So for M, Y, Z, we multiply uh, the density which is equal to 1 with r cos theta r cos theta is x and then for m x z we multiply with y r sin theta and for m x y we multiply the density with z okay for m x y moment x y i get 32 over 3 pi while for m y z and m x z i know it is they are equal to zero why because our region is symmetry at the z plane so anything with z will give you zero okay so for centroid i just have one point which is zero zero and four over three m x y divided by uh, m for z bar for the two of this we have zero divided by m so it is equal to zero okay so i have just one point for z bar for centroid for the very last example for this lecture video and also for this chapter 2 is to find the mass, center of mass and moment of inertia for a solid that has the shape of cylinder of radius A and high H. Okay. If the density at a point P is directly proportional to distance to the base of cylinder. So, you need to know we have a cylinder. Okay, so, we have cylinder. The radius is A. Okay, this is the base. Okay, so, the uh, radius is A. And the Z, the height of this is Z equal to H. Okay, and then given that the density at a point P is directly proportional. So, you know sigma is proportional to the distance to the base of cylinder so it is proportional to z so from here sigma is equal to k z k is any number k is constant any number so to find the mass for a mass is equal to triple integral okay triple integral well sigma is equal to k z and then I want to solve this using cylindrical coordinates. So I have dz r dr d theta. Again, theta limit is 2 pi. R limit is a, 0 to a. And the high is h. So from 0 to h. Okay. 0 to h. Okay. Proceed with the triple integration. The mass for this solid with density uh, proportional directly proportional to distance i get equal to k h square a square pi over 2 from the previous example we know that since the density the density for this case density depends only on z because our density is equal to k z sigma equal to kz and we know our solid the solid is symmetry symmetrical about the z axis so it's symmetry about the z axis about the z axis this the center of mass for B, the center of mass on X and Y is equal to 
0. So we just need to find the center of mass on Z. So find what is center of mass in on Z. Z bar is equal to M X Y over M. So find what is M X Y. In order to find M X Y, we do triple integral 0 to A, 0 to H. Okay. So we have kz, our density, and then we need to multiply with z over dz r dr d theta. Okay, try to find what is mxy, and then you can proceed with uh, the next one, which is moment of inertia. The answer for mxy is equal to k h cube a square pi over 3. And the centroid is equal to, the sorry, the center of mass is equal to 0, 0, 2 over 3 h. And last, for C, C, last, for C, find what is the moment of inertia about the axis of symmetry. So, about the axis of symmetry means you need to find what is I, Z, inertia about the Z axis. So, I, Z, to find I, Z, you do triple integral. 0 to 2 pi, 0 to a, and 0 to h. Okay, and then you multiply the, this, the uh, density with x square plus y square. This is from the formula kz, dz, r, dr, d, theta. Okay. So now try to solve for this one. For the initial z, I will give the final answer. The final answer is k h square a to the power of 4 pi over 4. Make sure that you get the same answer as mine. Okay. So that's all. So that's all for today's video and for chapter 2. We have we just cover everything in chapter 2. Okay. So by next week we will continue with chapter 3. We start chapter 3 which is uh, a chapter on vector calculus. Okay, thank you.